there's enough damp ground for grass, even in the dry season, which draws grazers like these oryx from all over the desert. And that's why the young lions have been drawn to this valley. It's the very best place to hunt. However, oryx are large with lethal horns. But they aren't the only potential prey taking advantage of the Waraseb's watering holes. Donkeys are much easier to catch, but killing one could spell disaster for the cubs. The donkeys belong to the Himba and Herero people, whose village, Puros, lies a few miles upriver. They are worried by the lion's return. No one wants a large predator on their doorstep. I had two donkeys, two pregnant donkeys. Then a lion killed both of them. Without my donkeys, I can't go and visit my daughter or my grandchildren anymore. Raising livestock on such marginal land is tough. The loss of cattle, their only cash in the bank, could cause financial ruin. In the severe droughts of the 1980s, desert lions killed hundreds of cows, so the people shot every lion they could. This is how desert lions were thought to have been wiped out first time around. Can the people of Puros afford to be tolerant towards this new generation? cubs will be much safer if they learn to catch wild animals like oryx. In the Serengeti, youngsters spend years watching how older lionesses tackle large prey. However, it looks as though these cubs will have to teach themselves through trial and error. They begin the stalk like seasoned hunters, using the scant cover to conceal themselves. And they have to be incredibly quiet. Oryx are spooked by the slightest sound. One of the youngsters looks as though it's made a mistake. It's broken cover. Actually, very cleverly, it's pushing the oryx towards the other lion.
and Oryx is quite capable of seeing off a lion as long as the antelope stands its ground and doesn't run. But will the Oryx keep its nerve? Finally, the youngsters lose heart. <laughs> 